okay hi guys so in this lecture we'll be continuing from the previous uh, question in which you have to identify the unknown uh, in the given reaction okay so let's get started we have something like this and this product uh, let it be cl okay from a re ace reagent it, get, it gets to product p first we pass it with again c reagent and h plus we get the product something like this oh and cs3 and this on reacting with d reagent we get something like cs3 here double bond here and this on reaction with selenium and on heating we get a product like this so you have to identify the unknowns here okay so a would be obviously alcl3 because after alcl3 only we'll get reduced we can actually remove cl and create a cyclohexane ring because one two three four members carbon atoms are there and it has to form a ring as can be seen in this product hence for ring formation there has to be a positive charge here so b would be product of fiddle curve which would be simply this product okay and this product the this is the b, b this is a b product and b product would be reacting with some reagent c to form something like this so c can be cs3 mgbr because cs3 can attack on this um, carbon and form a carbocation here oh sorry um not a carbocation this would this would actually attack its itself on this carbon atom and this will get a uh, o negative o negative will attract h plus and will become this compound okay and this compound uh will then be the d would again be we can say d is again acidic medium and we are heating it because alcohols and ethers are stable in this alcohols and ethers are stable in basic medium not in acidic medium hence on heating it will create positive charge here and would eliminate h from this chart this carbon atom hence we will get something like this which is in the product okay and this is a reaction you can remember that a cyclohexane with any number of bonds if heated in the presence of selenium then we would get something like a benzene okay this is the first time you are encountering this reaction but from now on you can just remember this okay now we have something like this this is actually o and then we have double bond o 18 also here we are reacting it with first in the presence of two moles of cs3 mgbr and second in presence of h plus to get a product a and then it reacts with a reagent b to get a product like this identify a and b okay so when this react with cs3 mgbr in presence of h plus what would be the what would be the product a a would be simply if we look at the mechanism cs3 would actually attack on this carbon atom as a result this will be leaving with o minus and mgbr plus and we'll get something like o18 and here we'll get cs3 okay this is again again will form a double bond again it reacts with the second mole of cs3 mgbr we'll get something like this 
O18 and again minus charge with MGBR and we get 2 CS3 attached here and we get O minus second we pass it with H plus so we'll get something like this as product A O18H and we'll get OH this would be product A okay now this product A reacts with product of with reagent B to form something like this so how, how will this actually take place Um, there is actually some uh, I wrote it wrongly here the product we, we wanted to form is something like this okay so there is some correction here so pardon me for that so now what, what can happen is again A will react with H plus and this O18 will actually attack on this H plus to form something like Uh, O18 plus and it will be removed as a result we will getting will be get a positive charge here it will be stabilized by uh, a, a hopper conjugation from the alpha hydrogens and and from resonance because of a co conjugate uh, pi electron with or conjugate double one with the positive charge and we have a OH here now next what will happen is this will attack on this positive charge to form again a cyclohexane ring or a six member ring rather so we'll get a six member ring and H plus would be regenerated in the reaction okay let's see another example so suppose we have this cyclohexane so from this cyclohexane what all uh, reactions can take place is if we react it with selenium in presence of heat and we heat it we would get a benzene and if we react it with uh, Cl2 in presence of H new sunlight then we'll get something like this as our product this we have discussed previously also just have to remember that in presence of Cl2 and H new one Cl will be substituted in place of uh, hydrogen BR we are attached here BR and we are attached here and this on again reaction with 2 moles of alcoholic KOH will get double bond character here and here and as a result we will can will get benzene okay so this is one of the ways to obtain ben benzene directly by reacting with selenium and heating it and this is the second way in which you can get benzene by all this set of reactions this is the second way okay so some 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 more insights on heating with selenium is even if we have this compound and we react it with selenium and we heat it we'll still get benzene and second if we have a seven seven member ring something like this and we heated the presence of sel selenium and then what will happen is six member ring would be formed and one substituent CS3 group would be attached to the phenyl ring okay because six member ring has less strain okay so with this we come to an end of this lecture in the next lecture we will be discussing new topic called nitration okay till then good luck and goodbye